This game is absolutely gorgeous. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. And today we're jumping right in, going on an incredibly dangerous mission to try and catch the sun station, but that may not be easy. We don't have the ability to lock onto it, which means we don't have the ability to even, like, match our speed with it. At least not automatically. So we'll have to do it manually. Oh, this is very, very dangerous indeed. We should not be doing this. Uh... Yeah, this is really difficult because if we can't match our speed, then we'll have to... I don't know what we'll have to do. It's going to be really difficult to catch. The problem is, if I try to go too fast towards it, I run the risk of overshooting it. We could wait for it to catch up on its orbit and then move in, but then we have to catch up to it. This is... Ah, how do I do this? You know what I kind of wish at this point? I wish these thrust indicators would remain lit to show my direction of travel. That would make it so much easier to kill off velocity. Nope, not what I want, not what I want, not what I want! <sighs> Plus gravity's a factor. In the absence of any ability to catch up with that station in the moment, and at least not with our current abilities, maybe there will be some way to teleport to it. I did notice structures on the surface that look sort of like the structures that allowed us to teleport to the White Hole Station. So I'm thinking maybe we instead head over to Giant's Deep. Maybe that'll be something we want to do. We still don't know what that satellite is around our planet. We haven't paid a visit to here yet. How about that? You know, I was just wondering why the controls felt so much less intuitive. I've only just realized that, silly me, last night I was playing with a gamepad. So I've gone ahead and plugged that back in, and this feels so much better. So much more like what I'm used to. Right now we're at the tower on uh, Timber Hearth. And maybe we can learn something from here as well. It's amazing how we've been exploring the solar system, and there's still so much we haven't seen, even on our own planet. And we're recording. <laughs> it's been two days since the launch of the Deep Space Satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that this historic day, Outer Wilds Ventures has... Ah, they're printing, they're printing, here they come. Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow. And look, look, that's Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant's Deep and... And the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Completely speechless. Every single body in our... Or sorry, every single astral body in our magnificent solar system. Looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images. And in color, no less. Now this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos. Just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Hmm. Are they perhaps talking about the interloper? They seem to have already known about the quantum moon. Speaking of Gabbro... Our secondary objective for this part, if the Sun mission failed, which it pretty thoroughly did, is to head over to Giant's Deep for the first time and try and see about the other Traveler there. I think once we've done that, we'll have talked to all of them. I have to say, I do feel pretty bad for Rebek all alone and scared on the Hanging City. 
It's crazy how... Well, how much I'm starting to become familiar with this world. But I'm trying to take things in a certain order, only go where I'm led. And so far, nothing has led us to the interloper. The reason I'm really, really keen to get to the sun station is because it'll enable us to learn what exactly the Nomai were doing when things went down. Like, did that fail? Is that the reason why so many bad things happened to them? I don't know yet. Here we are, look, it's just constantly pulling in all this debris. That just appeared out of nowhere. That looks like another one of those launch cannons, but it's a station in orbit? Now, allegedly, we can dive into that. That's what they were talking about at the start of the game, right? Dive into the gas giant and maybe there's a surface below, but first, I think we examine this thing, because this is the thing that sent that object flying at the very start of the game, and which continues to send something out every single time we start a new cycle. Hang on, let's move in. No! We're once again falling in! Pull ourselves out, pull out, pull out, pull out! There we are. Uh, I really wish there was some way we could keep a constant look at our velocity relative to objects around us. We could really use a lot of that Kerbal HUD technology. But we seem to have more or less matched this thing's speed. Let's see if we can land on it. And this does enable us to do just that. Alright, let's suit up. Our first time actually checking out a station. Well, that's not entirely true. We did also get to have a look at that satellite! Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Uh, not yet, anyway. Now, what can we learn about the rest of the outside? Go on for a little bit of EVA action here. Yep, this is definitely another of those cannons. But it looks like it might perhaps be damaged? I don't see a control panel to get this one working. But it's also a little bit different from the ones we found on the surface. I don't think the others had these things jutting out from the platforms. But this would have been what launched that object in the beginning, right? This piece appears to have broken off. Oh, no, 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 not a broken off piece. Just, uh, just our shadow on the planet. Do not descend into the gas giant. Once again, just not yet. Yeah, it's definitely broken off along its length. And oddly enough, this just happened. Come on. Return ourselves to that ship. Oh, with everything constantly passing in shadow, it's so hard to get through. I really, really wish we had a relative velocity indicator, because it's so hard to tell when objects are so far away how much momentum we have in a given direction. Alright, let's make our way back inside. If it's anything like Whitehole Station, maybe this will have something to do with teleportation as well? It just slowly drops us down. But there's no actual force acting on us. I think that's just gravity from, from the planet below. This was an airlock before, from what I understand. Yes, and a very unconventional airlock at that. So interesting seeing the Nomai solutions to certain problems that you'd have in a place like this. No oxygen for us here, though, or fuel. Control module. Hmm. This place might be a wealth of information. 
probe tracking module. Oh, but that's destroyed. Maybe that's what it did. Maybe it automatically launched a probe out into space? Perhaps in anticipation of whatever was about to happen here with the sun. Launch module. This area, too, is quite destroyed, but we can launch the scout through to see what it's up to. Or we can go outside, but I think I should refuel my jetpack first. Uh, let's head over to the control module and see what that's about. Another airlock. Oh. This place is so much bigger than I thought! We can walk on either of these surfaces, presumably, but it seems like there's more information if we go down here. Whoa. Look at the planet and our own debris passing by outside the window! The Nomai really know how to build a room with a view. Launch module projection stone. It's a vision of this place, but all destroyed. Wait. Is it possible that these stones don't show what was, but what will be? There's a thought. I mean, look, what we just saw hardly confirms that. But nevertheless, extremely weird. Can we get any good dialogue from you? We can. Oh, and the giant's deep projection stone. This is actually giving us a little bit of a preview. There are no my ruins lurking down there. We just have to find them. Uh, but that could be easier said than done. Let's see what they have to say. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location cannon components, so does that mean that the probe that they launched out of here was meant to find the eye? Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we're not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. A real optimistic bunch, then. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the Eye of the Universe. Is that the failure that destroyed this place? Because it would almost seem to imply that the Nomai existed on this station until, like, just now. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. The thought of concluding our Elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. What a beautiful race. Don't take that out of context, please. Alright, uh, let's drop that there and see if there's any writing on this one. Maybe we can learn about what to expect. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with a proposed power source. So the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is an indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. 
Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Hmm. Well, what happened here clearly didn't work, but maybe that wasn't their failure? That remains to be seen. Oh, the physics in this game are so cool. Now, what does all this do? Is this some kind of pool of liquid? It doesn't make a splashing sound when I walk through it. Fuel critical. We can't spend too much more time here. We have to get back to the ship. And the cannon. Oh, the cannon was a separate piece. What was all that? Uh, let's see what other models we can conjure. That's a larger version of the cannon itself, firing out that probe. Ooh. And it gives us information as well. Wait, did that come out of the other one too? We'll have to go back and see. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Was that just now or was that way back? Module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. So the probe launched successfully, but... The cannon itself broke apart. And maybe, I mean, they said something about feeling responsible. Perhaps there were injuries or deaths in the process of that? Now, did anything come from you? Yes, it did. I almost missed it. There's those red flashes again. 14 minutes, 40 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. This did just happen, but it was done automatically, unless there's someone still at Ash Twin. There's a lot of archaeology for us still to do there. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. The probe trajectory was random. Learning is fun. Seriously, that's this game's biggest strength, is how much fun learning is. Now, what are you? The, re the remains of the base of the cannon? What's happening to me? Why is this happening? I don't want to waste any more fuel. What just happened? I've got to read what's here, but we are running on fumes. No, 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 don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Get back in there. I didn't get to read that. It's in my log, but I want to read it myself. Orbital probe cannon damage reports, severe structural stress detected, assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. Launch module, viewport window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module, missing. So it's out there somewhere. Okay, well, let's get through here. Don't want to use too much fuel. Let momentum do a lot of the work. Get that out. Oh, this is not good. We'll have to take it slow. It's a good thing we have plenty of oxygen, because when it runs out, we've seen you can use your oxygen to go the last distance. Now, which way did we come in from? Over there, yes. Now, luckily, because it's in space, uh, we can use our inertia with only a small amount of thrust, as long as we're willing to take it slow. Out we go. Our ship is in sight. And in, although that sun doesn't have a lot of time left. 
I still haven't figured out exactly how long it has. Let's make sure we refuel our jetpack and have a look at some of our new leads. We saw the radio tower. We learned about this orbital cannon and the control module, but the other modules remain to be seen. I'm not going to go down to Giant Steep just yet, but what do we know about this construction yard? The Nomai built the orbital probe cannon at a construction yard on Giant Steep, so we have not located it yet. All right, well, let's have a look at the module with the damaged viewport. We've just got to find our way around to it. Now, how would we go about doing that? That's one of the connecting parts. This, I think, must be, because of its cylindrical shape, the chamber we were just in, which means it would be on the opposite side, right? Oh, I'm getting so turned around. No, this side is just as large, but yeah, there's the cracked glass. Maybe what it was showing me wasn't that module's future, but actually just what's in here. Yep, more of these. You are the control module projection stone. Show me your wisdom. Yeah, each one just shows the other. In its current state, because that's up there with all the writing. Speaking of, what is your writing? Mallow, my better 50... Wait. No, we've seen this already. What about you, then? So it was mirrored on both sides? Unless... Wait, I'm having a really weird time understanding this. If I put that here... Where has this place been? There's another Nomai statue, or... Is it possible that it's even THE Nomai statue? Oh, we can't reach out and touch this stuff. I feel like there's more to this that I'm not understanding. Something I'm missing. But because this is considered untranslated, that means that it's different from the one I found before, a different tablet. We just have to figure out what that last thing is. So that was the probe tracking modules. Actually, wait, I'm not confused anymore. Let's put this in, and that's the probe tracking module. So that shows us the probe tracking module, obviously. But it's somewhere off in parts unknown. But where? It seems like there's some weird, strange structures coming up to it. And lightning below? I have no idea where this could be, but... All that proves is that we have so much more to explore. Now, if we bring you up, imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. It might actually be at the location of the Eye. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Uh, yes, yeah, slightly. I would mind, Mallow! I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Well, at least I'll get to it. 
But who, after all this time, actually triggered this to launch? The answer must be on Ash Twin. And we'll be heading there after we go explore what's left of Giant's Deep. But in the meantime, it seems like we're ready for yet another beautiful apocalypse. You know, the soundtrack almost makes this feel bearable. Somehow able to convey the gravity of that situation, the destruction of everything we've ever known. Even though we know we have the ability to try again, it still hurts every time. That's actually kind of a unique ability and really shows the power of good music in a game. Our ship's logs retain that information. We retain that information. There's got to be some reason, right? And if those things are retained, maybe other things are as well? Well, we checked out the launch module, and what we saw shoot out may have been heading to the eye itself. But I think now it's time for us to go visit Jewel. Sorry, I mean Giant's Deep. Now I do wonder, are we going to be able to take our ship in there? Or is that going to be a job for EVA? Well, if we can find it in the sky, there we are. Sometimes it's fun to take it up just to a couple hundred meters per second and let ourselves glide in. That's actually the smarter way of doing it. It'll give us more time to slow down at the very least. But I'm really interested into flying into one of those storms and seeing what it's actually like to experience it firsthand. I noted them from the very beginning of the game. Alright, closing in now. There's the remains of the station. I think we've exhausted about all we can learn from there. Oh, that's a bramble seed. Or at least I think so. And wow, it seems like this thing is just absorbing all this debris from space. It almost seems like this whole solar system is very unstable, like it's consuming itself wherever. Well, let's dive in. This is pretty scary. Uh, what's at the bottom of this? And how will we know when we've reached it? There we go. Whoa! Those aren't mountains. Oh, just when I thought I'd seen everything in this game. A constant storm being pulled up into the atmosphere. And honest to god oceans, I wonder if we can do some diving. And then again, my cave diving exploits in the mine on Timber Hearth didn't exactly end well. Ah, oh, the weather on all these planets is trying to kill me. I guess... I'm kind of afraid to find out if I need a suit to breathe here. I think the safer way to determine that would be to suit up and see if we start burning through oxygen. Well, there are plants here. Maybe we can breathe? Maybe it's habitable? One of our people is actually on this planet. Oop, missed the landing spot by a little bit. Let's see if we can't figure out where they are. Oh. The planets must be aligned in that direction. We're hearing both the whistling of the Atler Rock and the harmonica music of the of the seed on Timber Hearth. But I've still yet to wait. Come on, get running into some weird performance issues there, but... The source of that noise, that quantum noise... It's only 300 meters away! And it's seemingly moving? That is very weird. We'll have to look into more of that. Scroll, 
Yes, we will certainly want you. Wait, why has... Why has gravity suddenly turned off? Oh no. It's because we're underwater now. That storm must have passed directly over us. Oh, there's more than one! Uh, just because some place seems safe doesn't mean it will remain so. That's what we should have learned from the pits on Ember Twin. Let's find out more about this planet. This is it. We've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Is this the construction yard? Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going gelatinous, honest love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. If I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. They were actually right. They actually did account for their natures. The more I learn about this species, the more tragic it seems that they've been lost. Hopefully they're not entirely lost, but everything we've seen seems to indicate that that's the case. Oh, the gravity is quite strong here, it seems. But can we climb up here? Come on. Come on, it's so hard to tell what I'm doing. Down to here. Yeah, this area in particular is not performing all that well, but only in bursts. Probably has something to do with the physics of this uh, storm. Six minutes, 15 seconds ago, long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. We can actually use these things as a good gauge of how long we've been active in this playthrough. Control module projection stone. Well, let's see what we can learn from it first. I think we've seen this already, though. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we've seen this already. So there are copies of certain pieces of information. Does that mean that if we play it, we'll get the same thing? Yeah, we'll see that same thing. All right, so there is a little bit of redundancy in the information. First time we've really seen that, though. Now, what does this do? This seems to be a representation of the storm itself, but does this mean that maybe they had some ability to control it? Probably not. That's just a random wild guess theory. There is something over there, though. Brittle hollow projection stone. Uh, will we be able to carry that across the water? Let's take it. Switch to this so that it's not in our immediate inventory. Not that it'll make a difference if we are to drop it in here. Right, up and over. And see what it has to say. That's kind of interesting how these stones seem to carry two components each. A text component and a visual one. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any com cannon components to sink even partially below the current. 
but ours sank straight to the core. This ocean goes to the core? Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude, my gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. So getting in there, I think, is the next step to learning how we approach whatever's beneath these waves. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Hmm. Okay, so we have an idea then of how to get in there. I think maybe we head back there. Then again, I am still interested in learning just where our people are on this planet. But maybe that's best achieved from orbit? See, now it's a full kilometer away. Look at all this. How could a group so advanced not know what was coming? I'm still not convinced we know the exact nature of their destruction. Well, let's get back to our ship and figure out our next move. We found the construction yard. But we've learned that there's something within the ocean depths, and that we can learn more inside the observatory at Brittle Hollow. The Nomai on the construction yard saw something sink beneath the underwater current, which they'd previously thought was impossible. I could go look for that myself, but I think doing so without information would just be a waste of a run. Alright, well, let's put you back. And I think I'm going to head up into orbit and try and isolate where the local traveler is. Whoa. That seems like a slam dunk for a thumbnail, but I'm not sure if I want to spoil it. That's so interesting how when the planets align like this, it forms a whole song. And that's kind of the way it is on our home planet, huh? Everyone is valuable. Everyone's a part of the song of our species. And it seems like the Nomai were the same way. Now, it did tell us how to enter this facility. Uh, first, let's just find it. Oh, wait. It looks like there's another Nomai craft right here. All right, let's land on this rock and head over. I just can't keep focused in this game, but it's just discovery after discovery. Let's suit up and head out, which is kind of becoming a catchphrase at this point. There must be some way to enter. Ah, another beacon. Is this the other escape pod? Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. 
Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? Now, this might be obvious, but what I'm starting to think is that these escape pods are how they arrived here. Because some of the things we found in the school below said that this clan doesn't have a ship. I'm thinking maybe they arrived here in the escape pods after this disaster. I don't remember if they've explicitly said this or not. And they eventually reunited and started building these great works. But the beacon has been located. And we'll have to try and find a way inside. Seems like they're powering it off of the ship itself. Let's have a look. These containers must have actually held Nomai. Or perhaps some form of resources? Last time I didn't get a chance to actually look at the ship itself. Begin flight log. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3. Launching. Escape pod 2. Now launching. Escape pod 1. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict. Hospitable. Oh, you sure about that? Let's go deeper. Emergency escape hatch. If the city underground on, uh, on Ember Twin has anything to do with this... Then maybe... I don't know... Maybe that's just how they- No, 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 no. Please don't all of you make a habit of doing that. Oh, uh, that's the first time we couldn't trust the environment to remain static. At least as far as the geometry was concerned. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Oh! No, 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 that's a cruel trick. That is a cruel trick. Buckle up. Oh, has our entire ship fallen in? But we've lost the front. Oh, it's all damaged. This time it actually came through with us. The whole thing fell away. That's hilarious. Hit me with that while I'm trying to use it. All right, well, light's on. Can't believe I didn't do that right away. And let's see if we can't start some repairs, maybe? I mean, I don't know if we can do anything about missing parts. Come on, what? I was able to get in. Now I can't get back out? I'm like a fly trying to get out of a window. Uh, maybe... Look, we've got our suit. Let's just buckle up and get out of here. Exit ship to repair damage. No, what, 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 what? That's so stupid. If the ship is exposed to the vacuum of space, you take off your suit when you sit down? All right, so three escape pods. What we found so far is escape pod one and escape pod two. Escape pod two created the Sunless City, where escape pod one presumably created the Hanging City. But there is a shelter site that we've yet to discover. That's what we've got to do. We need to make our way down that cliffside. And try not to be taken in. Now I wonder if that happened because we were on it, or if it happens on its own after a certain amount of time has passed. I wonder how much of this is time sensitive. Because we know that the sun is going to go at a certain point, but maybe there's other things operating that way as well. 
Let's get back there immediately. Being able to live, die, repeat is actually kind of freeing in a way. But in order to understand this, we're going to have to make our way down to where they ended up. Which means guiding our descent and not relying too much on the stairs themselves, I think. Uh, how can something in the middle of space so exposed to the sun be so dark? Here is where they made their way to the Hanging City. Man, they really do have the ability, like a mold, to just cling on to wherever they end up. But I guess their attitude would allow that. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. All right. Oof. Seeing a planet from the inside brings a whole new meaning to three dimensions. Now, I think we've occupied this exact space before. We're just seeing it from a different angle. Given concerns about our settlement's stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Now that's a really interesting thought. In order to survive here, it's not safe below ground because of the black hole, and it's not safe above ground because of the volcanic moon. So they really had to strike a good balance. Yes, thank you for illustrating my point, volcanic moon. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? We need to stay close to the escape pods so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye's signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, then that's what we should do. I imagine that became the library. Now, uh... Start moving down, I guess? Ooh, we haven't actually seen this before. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Which I believe we have not discovered the vessel itself yet, only its escape pods, but from the size of the escape pods themselves, it must have been huge. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. I keep thinking about how this game is all about the pursuit of knowledge. And they died in the pursuit of knowledge, but at the same time, it's treated as something that's necessary for survival. I mean, in our circumstance, it certainly is. We need to learn why this is happening to us and how we can prevent it. So I'm really not sure what the ultimate message is going to be here. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Melloray. We've heard that name. I think they might have ended up elsewhere. I do wonder if the different sects of this clan ever reunited. I mean, they must have. We know that they eventually did take to space and traveling between the different stars in the... Not stars, but planets in the star system. 
Now, this place has deteriorated to the point where even down here isn't safe from the eruptions. This place is actually among the more difficult to explore because I can't actually tell where I have and haven't been already. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I would give anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. And it doesn't bode well because we've never heard from a Keek, at least I don't think so. so hard to navigate here. Ooh, there's a plant here somehow still living. Uh, how do we leave here? I guess we try climbing up. Maybe this will lead us back to the Tower of Knowledge? Forget what they were calling it. The library is what I've been calling it. How much higher up does this go? There's more over there on a wall that I've already uncovered. This, I think, is where I came in. So we have to travel upwards in the other direction? No, I'm not sure that's right. Oh, here's some of those gravity crystals. This is what they use to make all this work, to be able to travel. I'm afraid this place has come apart quite significantly. Tell you what, down there I see rings. Maybe if we can find Rebek, we can figure out where we are in relation to all of this. Oh, he's right around the corner! Wait, no. No. I'd wager that that's actually the rock up above. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Never mind. Ah, so that's the old settlement, and on the other side is the Hanging City. Okay. Thank you for putting that into context for me, Map. But I'm finding that exploring the same places I've already been to, I'm starting to get diminishing returns. I think in the next part, we're going to have to head out either to the moons or maybe even to the Bramble itself, which is a whole other apocalyptic threat. I think for now, though, call me crazy, but I'm going to see what I can learn by landing on the volcanic moon itself. Maybe it can give me some information about what's to be found on Brittle Hollow. So the volcanic moon goes by the rather appropriate name of Hollow's Lantern. And I really love, like, as a lore thing, how every time the Nomai mention it, they always have to include, like, God, I hate that thing. <laughs> and for spending some time on the surface of Brittle's Hollow, I understand why. Now, this thing... What is that, actually? It doesn't seem to have a name. Is that the quantum moon that they were talking about? The thing that disappears when not observed and moves around? It seems like it has an atmosphere. Oh, but it's actually... This is very small. It's not a planet at all. Hang on, wait. I, I want to go examine it. Yeah, I could have seen that coming, huh? Wait, back there. There it is. Okay, let's try flying into it this time. I'm not sure if it just moved away from us. I mean, our speed was more or less matched with it. But let's keep it on our sights this time. 
and see what we can do. It doesn't seem like it's really much bigger than our ship at all. We just pass right through. And now it's gone again. Okay, definitely more to be learned. And if I'm ever... Well, I suppose even if I were already wearing a suit, it wouldn't matter because it would just disappear when I went through the hatch. Very, very interesting. Now it's appeared over there beside Jewel. In any case, let's see if we can land on Hollow's Lantern, if it's even possible. It seems like it's literally all volcano and no surface. Yeah, I don't know if there's really anything to be found there. And I sort of doubt the Nomai would have settled it, given their intense hatred of it. And there's probably not any good reason for me to climb down inside one of these volcanic vents, right? Oh, then again, it does look like there's something there. Hang on. Might be a waste of a life, but I got plenty of them. Uh, does this thing even have its own gravity? There we are. Just set her down right here. Nothing can go wrong. Oh man, everything's gonna go wrong. Alright, stop moving. We're on a slope, which is every Kerbal's worst nightmare. I have a feeling we're gonna lose the ship. Put that on. Because it is not sitting still. Practically no gravity, which makes sense given how small it is. Uh, how do we know when you're... Oh, they did settle here! Right, let's go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. We're gonna be wiped out by this thing. Uh, let's get the information quickly. Increased solar activity detected. Increased volcanic activity detected. Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. So it wasn't always this way. Timber hearth projection stone. We can learn more about our own world from this. This must be down in the mine. Okay. But we've already been there. What does that teach us? Let's move you over to here and see what you have to say directly. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to approve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. Ah, I see. There's durable material in that mine that they talked about, and I think that's what they used for the sun station, right? Uh, we'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired, fired up about crafting the Ash Twin Project's protective shell. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin project. Now, have we learned yet why they were shi shielding the core exactly? Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova-proof however briefly has kindled my curiosity. Is it possible that some of them could have survived there? I mean, look, it's said that the probe was sent out from there, was it not? Let's not leave while it's doing that. The Nomai could be alive yet. They could actually be living on Ash Twin. That's an exciting thought. Uh, the fact that I'm not seeing an indicator for my ship suggests bad things. Maybe we can actually do a planet hop. I mean, to arrest our velocity relative to it would be difficult, but maybe we can go for a landing? I think at the very least we're going to reach the surface. May not be the best thing for us, but... Oh my god, we're actually gonna do it. That is so cool. That's got to be a first jump from the moon to the surface. 
Uh, well, with nowhere else to go, maybe we can seek out Rebek? Oh, there's a whole village here with plants. Have we been here before? There's one of them gravity crystals. Oh. It's another it's another traveler base. The journey here from the South Pole has been uh I'm going to go with harrowing because of the uh all, all, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building, with trees growing out of it. That might be one of the trailheads that it talked about before. It doesn't look like anything horrible. Just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. This could be either Rebek, or it could be Feldspar. We know that he was here. Let's have another quick look around here and just see. Yeah, it said the one overgrown by plants. Maybe there's a window we can get in? Oh, we're doing urbex now. And that usually signals yes, ghost matter. That whole building overtaken. We still don't know the exact nature of this stuff. How are we getting into you? Probably via jetpack, right? In we go. Down we go. Yeah, they seem to have been storing a lot of crystals here, which makes sense given the unstable nature of the planet. Whoa. I didn't think you'd do that. Oh, are these walls like... Oh, I see. I see! It's a path! Oh, that is so cool! She's sort of a makeshift one due to their lack of materials because this was a colony. But it does work. No, it was Rebek. Definitely, because I can hear him over there. Gravity Crystal Workshop above 140 meters. That makes sense. What other readables can we readable? You know... I really like the idea of the death loop now. It gives a sense of urgency while giving you basically infinite room to make mistakes. It doesn't mean that you can like screw yourself over permanently, which would have otherwise been possible. And what it means is that it opens up the possibility of emergent storytelling when you lose your ship. I mean, I never would have attempted to jump from the moon to the planet if that hadn't been the case. Oh, it's a map of the settlements. I don't believe we've been through the cannon yet, but that was something that we also read about today. Huh. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. Yeah, you did fall. I made it this far, though. I guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing. I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below. Which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supply screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. Not much farther from the sound of it. The Hanging City North, 250 meters. Now, this is a, another one of those times where it's like, well, when you say north, I don't believe I've walked these bridges yet. Oh, so cool. The rocks constantly falling from the ceiling into the black hole. And there's... Oh, no, no, I have. I have, because I'm pretty sure I remember this. This bridge has collapsed, no matter... Yeah, I have been here. This is where I came in the first time I came down here. 
But have we explored all of this? I'm not sure we did. What is the meaning of this platform here? Oh, a stairwell. Black hole forge controls. I don't think there's a single body in this game that I've explored fully yet. They were using the black hole to construct materials. Maybe the gravity crystals or maybe something else altogether. Here's that oxygen he was talking about. Ooh, and a waterfall. No, not a... Yeah, fall. How cool is this? Even on this collapsing planet, there's a nice little snowy wonderland complete with presumably warm enough water to dip into. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. Should we be able to obtain it? There's got to be more scrolls around here somewhere. Solution 2. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Seems like a lot of people have something to say about that. It's like a post with a bunch of blue numbers on top of a 4chan post. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however. It's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it, though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Polk was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler ones. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Now, I'm not sure if I remember correctly, did Anona end up on the sunken city? There's got to be one more of these somewhere here. Here we are. Now, I believe time doesn't advance while we're reading these, so long as we remain still. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. The vessel is on Dark Bramble! I think that pretty much guarantees that that's our stop in the next episode, then. Plume, my father, said many good nomai perished there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Anglerfish? Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. My observation with the one on Timber Hearth may have been spot on. If that is indeed what they're referring to! Ow! I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. What Mellorai and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish. But our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. Even if it no longer functions, blah blah blah, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back here. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. 
Okay. So all that stuff, if it's not here, is on Dark Bramble. That's definitely going to be our next spot. But there's plenty more to observe here as well. And I think rather than go for our normal 90 minute record limit, I am just going to continue to explore here with the time that I have left. Preferably with a roof over my head to shield me from the falling rocks and volcanic debris. I feel strange trying to recreate a known as warp core without him. At time, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. And for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Still, all I can give is my best. And as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system, and never saw Anona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor. And deeply. So Anona was considered quite brilliant. We can go up and we can go down. Is this an elevator? it is. But where does it take us? Somewhere we've been? I'm not sure if we've been here before, but it seems to be quite close to the surface. Yes, indeed. One tiny little hole. This place would have been very difficult to spot from above. But we can make it out. A shortcut at the base of these two ruins. We should still have plenty of time until the supernova. Maybe these are something worth checking out? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night? Oh no, I've seen this. Here is some place we've been. Okay, well let's get back down there, if we can find it. Yeah, that's where the teleport comes out. Ah, right here. I have to follow the sound of rushing water. Makes sense. Oop. There's something so satisfying about using the jetpack to break your fall at the last moment. head back down there and see if we can't learn more from this location. Thank you for the air. Now instead of up, I think we start heading down, which we'll have an opportunity to do if we progress this way. You know, I'm using so much fuel trying to get to places. But I think I saw stuff down that way. through here. We can definitely make that. Oof, almost slid off the end there. Let me guess. Whoops. There we go. So it can be damaged by that stuff. Whatever we want, it's going to be in that tower. More of them. Seems like every dwelling we discover is full of their bones. Is it the result of a past supernova? Is all of this maybe cyclic? But how could that leave all of this intact? More of the stuff down there. Hang on. It's a 
across that gap. All right, a lot to do here, a lot to take in. I'm trying to take this methodically, but I'm not quite sure how to go about it. It could go up and over like this. It's only that gap, so we're still safe. And that can take us up or down. Roll. Okay, uh, let's take that up with us. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, it's gonna take us all the way up, isn't it? If we can get it back to where we came from, oh, we can't. We really can't. We need to find a place to insert this. What if we go all the way down? No, that's into the black hole. Don't go that way. What if we take it all the way up? That leads us back onto this bridge. And another convenient spot to hide and refuel. There's more scrolls, so we must be getting close to something. Yes. Okay, let's do this. I hope we have enough time. Explanation of festivals. Okay, we've already seen this. We've been here before. Which means we've also seen the one over there. But we haven't seen this one. Why we should build a new vessel. Wait, no, I have seen this one. Okay, no, I've seen all this already. So what else can we explore here? It seems like this is area we've already been through. And I just didn't realize it. They were right, though. Maybe it would have been better, instead of trying to hunker down and survive, to just leave. Whoa. Um, I've just fallen into the black hole trying to do something, and it seems I'm near a huge piece of debris. Uh, more than just a huge piece of debris, what is all this? Any frequency from it? I have no idea what this thing actually is, but I'm about to run out of air and die. What is all of this? Moments before death, we learn of something crazy. It's right near the interloper. A huge chain of asteroids, it looks like. Oh. This might be our first and only chance to get a look at it. Three minutes of oxygen remaining? It's gonna burn out a lot quicker than that, I tell you what. Oh, imagine ending up stranded in space and seeing something no one's ever seen before with no way to communicate it. What if I head for the core? Build up some momentum, keep what oxygen I have left. What will happen? Or no, maybe it's not a core to this thing. Maybe that's just the white hole itself. The other end of the black hole. And I'm gone. I couldn't actually touch it. Seems like there's like four or five apocalyptic threats that we have to deal with, but uh, maybe we can kill all four or five with one stone. If we can figure out what became of the Ash Twin project. We need to have a look at our log because I think the next stop is going to be Dark Bramble. But we need as much information as possible to survive there. And I think it's going to lie with whatever information there was about that fossil that was mentioned. Now, what do we know about the anglerfish fossil? 
The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. So I think before we head to Dark Bramble, which we will do in the next episode, we have to go to Ember Twin and at least try and locate that fossil. But that'll be next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.